Hello and welcome back to the Our League app. We have a great match in prospect. It's the Champion Schools Year 11 Boys Final between Outwood Grange Academy and Saddleworth. It's the final game of an exciting triple header. And Outwood Grange, they're based in Wakefield. They've beaten Ulverston, Garforth and Brooksbank en route to the final. Their opponent, Saddleworth, also managed to claim a scalp in round one as they knocked out last year's national finalist, Wade Deacon, which w I saw the final last year between Wade Deacon and uh, I think it was Coldbrook, and it was, they, it was brilliant. I love little things like that, and you know, in, when you lead up to a championship final, you know, anything can happen. You run the league all the way through the year, and, you know, and, and things go the way, but when it comes to playoffs and, and, and knockout rounds, anything can happen. That's what I love about rugby league. Uh, I'm Dave Parkinson, that was Danny Caprim. We've been together all afternoon, haven't we? We have indeed. Seen yeah. some great action. Yes, indeed. Uh, the uh, Castleford Academy claiming a piece of history of their own by winning their fifth successive Champion Schools final. It's incredible, isn't it, for the for the girls at Castleford and a great way to end their school rugby career by winning their, their fifth final in a row. I'll bring you the teams when we get a quick stoppage, but it's Saddleworth who are in blue and they'll launch this attack and go 20 metres downfield with the first carry. So it's all about controlling your nerves in these early, early parts, isn't it, of cup finals? Yeah, definitely. What we haven't seen from the last two games is just settling into the game, you know, and maybe a little bit of overplaying or a little bit of panic. So it'll be good to see a little bit of control and composure. Good run there the from few minutes. Joel Cunniff. Ball sent down the right-hand side. Lovely little step coming in from the 13, Fenton Rogers. Interesting seeing props running wide. Wide lines early from Ben Killen. He managed to release the pass to number six, Tom Whitehead. There's a misconception, I think, about props. We're agile as well, you know. I'm getting it. I'm understanding that. <laughs> what I've seen today. Good kick down field, taken by Chablis, Ch Charlie Abraham, I should say. And they get a penalty to Outward Grange. So they line up with Charlie Abraham at fullback, Connor Pickup, Phoenix Two Law, uh, Niall Gresham. James Hopkinson and then the halfbacks are Callum Jordan and Callum Thurston James Ambler Tyler Sykes Josh Leeson in the front row Luke Campin Jacob Hart and Tommy Cork in the back row with Danny Taylor and Samba Kamara on the bench so they're going to make use of possession here you would think Oof, big challenge coming in there from Fenton Rogers. You love it in rugby when you hear a big hit, don't you? It's, oh, it's yeah. The game. There's Josh Leeson. Up to the 40 metre line. Scrappy play of the ball, and it's a knock on. Now, the Saddleworth School, they line up with Josh Fitzgerald at fullback. They've actually named a, a 20 player squad. Alex Ratchford will wear two in three is Gabriel Payne, four Ryan Lord, five Evan Parry, six Tom Whitehead, seven Charlie McManus, eight Ben Killen, nine Cameron Huff, ten Joel Cunniff, eleven Joe Howe, twelve Jack Remway, and thirteen Fenton Rogers. The bench, a lengthy bench, Adam Pillin, Jack Nags, Mason Young, Bailey Pomfrey, Brad Ward, Louis Smethurst and Jack Burtley. And already Saddleworth making some great inroads down this right-hand side in the form of Jack Renway. It's fed to the middle. That's good play from Whitehead. Gets the ball further wide. Oh, it's been lost. Bit Just unfortunate that, you know, it's great to see the pace these lads have got. I know they're, they're, they're 16 years old, 15, 16 years old, but real pace and, and, and purpose and that drive forward to go, it's, it's great to see. Along with, uh, you know, they're combining that with some huge hits in defence. Um, it's going to be quite the display, this one, I think. I like we saw in the first game, there's some, some big players out there, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Some big, big lads. You know, and big units to see, but also, that, that you know, your back's not afraid to run it either, so... That's what I like about Rugby League. You know, it's a game for anybody. Here's Renway again. Initially, the run was taken in by Gabriel Payne off the base of the scrum. Cameron Huff wanting to play the ball to be sped up. Straight away driving through the middle of the defence. Fenton Rogers 
And Fenton Rogers has opened the score. He just wriggled his way over, didn't he? Yeah, he's done a couple of runs, you know, in his first opening few minutes. He's got a real direct pace and purpose about him, and he's, he's another one we need to watch today. He's going to be scooting through these gaps, and, you know, that the determination in his run there, there was no stopping him, was there? Definitely wasn't. Four points to nil in favour of Saddleworth. Fourth minute of the game. And that's the first time, really, that they've had any field position, isn't it, as well? Well, yeah, you know, we've opened this game up, we're only four minutes in, and um, nobody's really made any huge strides in, in gaining possession and, and yardage, but there we saw uh, Saddleworth just pushing through, chipping away, you know, we talked about in the earlier games, having that one-up and just settling the ball in and having that drive and getting their metres underneath underneath the belt down the field and that's paid off dividends and then been able to finish that off by wriggling his way over the line. Renway has stepped up to convert and I just wonder here at Post Office Road or LD Nutrition Stadium as it's known these days how many balls have been lost over the roofs in the... I always wonder that you know who goes and collects them? Yeah I wonder yeah <laughs> maybe there's a guy that sells them all off at the end of a season. You have to go over to the house and pay them back. <laughs> Six points still in favour of Saddleworth as I say, up and running, about five minutes now. This is a half hour each way. And if anybody gets sim binned, it's five minutes. Right. We don't necessarily want anybody sim binned. Oh, no, no, but I'm, I'm just... Exciting. It's quite exciting, isn't it, when somebody does? I'm just informing our view in public. <laughs> it's brilliant. Here comes Saddleworth again. Good run from Killen. Cameron Huff is organising. It's not much of him, but he sends the ball down the left-hand side. Fenton Rogers, the try scorer, put down just inside his own 40 metre line, 20 metres in from touch. They take it down the blind side. Good, solid hit up there by Joe Howe. The defence here is really good, isn't it? Really, the line speed's great and they're really closing them down. But the, the runs from Saddleworth are really straightforward and dominant. There's Killen. Just to answer your point there. Yeah. <laughs> Down the right, he's moved. Good work. Oh, I tell you what, Josh Fitzgerald, you get the feeling with that quick little step he could get away at some point. Yeah, I think this is a really quick game to start off. You know, I've never seen a Year 11 boys final, so um, it's great to see the skill level that's involved at the minute. Whitehead goes to the air. It was claimed by Charlie Abraham. And the penalty ensues, tackled in the air. Kick to touch now by Jordan. Finds a good touch as well. Carries out Wood Grange 20 metres downfield. Big difference between these two squads is the fact that Saddleworth School have named 20 players and Outwood Grange have just 15 to rotate. I mean, I, I don't know what the rules are in terms of what your interchanges are in, in the school's level, but, you know, we might see that pay a big part as the game progresses, you know, and we get some tired bodies on the field. It was a good run by Ambler. He'll play it just his side of the halfway line. Another big charge coming through the middle by Luke Campin, the captain. Quick play of the ball as well. No chance to get it wide. This is great running, great work. There's two Aller. Tuala on the outside. Rolled over on his back. Good recovery tackle there by Whitehead. Still, the danger's not gone away. Outward Grange applying the pressure. And almost a try there. Last tackle signal. Ball put right. Drilled kick. Bounces up. And in favour of Outward Grange. Another set of six coming up here. To really look at that for Outward Grange, you know, um, they were unfortunate to get caught on that left edge, but to um, regain possession and get another set of six is great with the field position they've got. Leeson's gone ever so close to the line. In fact, he's that close, he's been held up. Fantastic drive forwards, though, there, you know, to get possession and, and that, the, the, where they are on the field as well is fantastic. And they'll have another go at the line now, down this left hand side. Oh, they've worked the opening, they've worked the opening, it's going to be a try! And Charlie Abraham waltzes his way through. You know, that, that's come from some really strong attacking play. 
They look very structured and very composed. And that's obviously paid dividends now. They, they've got that set of six, you know, with only, you know, 12, 13 metres out. They've managed to, to regain. They've got held up, pulled it back again, saw that the defence had not numbered out, numbered off right, shipped it out to the left and, and got over the line in that gap. And if we just see where this is going, this is just taking the ball to the line, isn't it? And that's created the opening. Yeah, the skill level that these guys have got. This is a really fast-paced game and they're taking this ball right to the line and, uh, and playing with it in, you know, in high pressure situations and it's, it's so great to see that level of skill that they can do that and it can really pay off as well Caleb Jordan with the conversion attempt it's a big kick he's got there he's going uphill he's at the edge and uh, you know we haven't seen much success have we from out there today no we haven't let's see how he's lined this one up Jordan taking his time he knows the importance But already with what we've seen in the opening 10 minutes, it suggests we've got a close game. Yeah, that's going to be great, isn't it? The Brilliant kick. Six apiece. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but as a 90s child, I'm liking the music. Don't you worry, I'm a 90s child. Well, <laughs> 80s child. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Terry on camera that uh, has no idea what that song is because he's too old to even uh, register it. <laughs> we love you, Terry. <laughs> I think I've just lost my new friend. <laughs> there's an un there's an unlike going against your Twitter account now. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so Salworth back on the halfway line. They'll get us back on the way. Interesting restart. It's allowed to bounce and bobble. They've got to come for it. No, we spotted that gap and, and hit it straight into that gap. There was uh, there was nobody there, so they had to adjust and nobody did. They just let it bounce and managed to recover it. So let's see them get out of this half now. Great defensive pushback there. The intensity and effort is there, isn't it, in this one? Six all. Yeah, again, this is going to be another game that's uh, fast-paced and speedy and full of uh, youth and determination, I think. Sykes a dummy half, slips it left. Power pat run, coming in there by Josh Leeson, he's after a quick play of the ball, it doesn't quite go his way. Still, there's some good work being done there by Tyler Sykes. Last time. see these lads, you know, their prop forwards are carrying it in two hands and at the very last minute, tucking it and protecting it. You know, leaving those options open at all times. Last tackle here, quality kick forward from Jordan, well pouched. Rutherford running back into contact, centering the position as well. And here comes Josh Fitzgerald. Big hit on him. That was a great tackle, that one. Here comes Saddleworth again, up to the 40 metre line. Already organising his Cameron Huff. And that's a power pack run from Joel Cunliffe. They've got some the big forwards of both tees, but they both seem to be quite mobile and fast as well. It's great to see. This lad seems to be the one to follow, though. Fenton Rogers already scored a try. Last tackle in this set. Whitehead keeps it moving. Renshaw gets it moving. Fitzgerald has it. He slips it out of the tackle. And that's not a bad place to hand over possession, that, with Alex Rutherford. It, what we need to see is that he had two guys outside of him then. You know, all it needed was simple hands, but the overlap um, defensively. You know, I think his, his outside edges will be a little bit disappointed that he couldn't get that ball out. But it was well protected and made good yards anyway, didn't they? They certainly did. Six all here, early doors, 12 and a bit minutes of the game gone. A little bit of an issue here for Ratchford, the Saddleworth winger. Maybe he's got what you were saying before, where you said it's the most painful place to be hit right on the tip of your nose well, it, it really is it, honestly it really is you can give it a practice if you want oh no 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 I'm, I'm keeping on your good side Danica you know what? I'm not very aggressive at all I'm probably the least aggressive rugby player you've ever met <laughs> Huff moving the ball to the right hand side tell you what Outward Grange struggling to get forward at the moment. They might have chances here. Leeson will play it. Sykes feeds the ball inside, but it's spilled. Play on. 
really unfortunate that you know they were just doing their simple plays up the up the pitch, getting into to good ball area. Just that little mistiming slip there from the ball. Whitehead moves it left. Here's Fenton Rogers again. That's probably the way that you've got to defend against him. One top, one bottom. Yeah, we didn't seem to run with as much intent as he did beforehand there. But Manus creating something on the left hand side. Ball moves through several pairs of hands. It's now with Evan Parry. He'll play it 10 metres out. Ball comes inside scrappily. No, it's not. No, that's not scrappy. Slicing through like a hot knife through butter. Goes Whitehead under the posts. That just comes from a really, really quick play the ball that wide, you know. He got tackled out on that left edge and I think his play the ball must have been one or two seconds maximum. That means that they've been able to take that ball off Salilith and, and really push it across. Um, and, 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 and split the defensive gap there and he's scooting through, hasn't he? Certainly was. I mean, again, it was another one of those instances where it was a little bit scrappy coming in field, but he made the best of it, didn't he? He just sort of took possession. I think to be fair, it comes from how quick the ball was played and how quick the ball was moved along. You know, um, in attacking, they didn't really get into position as quickly as maybe they should have done because that that honestly that play the ball was was ridiculously quick. But they've managed to to utilise it, keep it in hand, and um, bounce around that defence. We've seen a lot of that today. You know, I'm sure it's youth. I'm sure it's that youth. They just keep bouncing in and out and ducking and diving through the defensive line. Renway looking for his second conversion. 10 points to 6 currently. May that 12 points to 6. The flags are raised here at the LD Nutrition Stadium. And it's Saddleworth who lead by 12 points to 6. Like you'd expect, there's no panic. Everybody's moving forward, determined. Yeah, I think, you know, um, we've seen quite a lot of composure from both sides um, here today. And it's, I think, the first time this afternoon that we've seen both teams be this, this composed um, this far into the game. But it is a very evenly matched, matched contest today, so maybe that's it. Charlie McManus didn't half juggle with that ball then. Joe Howe runs it back into contact to tackle 20 metres from his own line. Taking it blindside. Good run there, Gabriel Payne. Huff. McManus releases it. Here's Rogers. Rogers has the arm free. Oh, he's going to have to watch. He doesn't lose possession. And he's gone and lost it. You know, he's tried to get that ball away. Um, <laughs> you know, some people are not very happy with underneath us, but I think uh, it wasn't ripped that. He did try and get it away, and it was just... A little a little bit too late, it was already on the floor and it's uh, been fumbled, unfortunately. I mean, you could see his intent, couldn't you? He's trying to get the ball around the player that was coming in to tackle him, but sometimes you, you've got to understand as to reel it in, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, as soon as your body changes angle, you know, it's not going to be that easy. You just need to keep it safe and regain possession or retain possession, so that's Here's Abraham. Scored the uh, first try of the game as far as Outward Grange were concerned. Well, the only try they've got so far at 12-6. Good run. Leeson bursting towards the 20 metre line. It's picked up and fed down the left hand side. A lot of good work's coming from the six at the moment, Jordan. And they're still wriggling forward. Sykes moves the ball inside. Jordan gets rid of it. That's a good run from the number eight Ambler. Two metres away from the try line. Testing this defence out again. Moving the ball down the right hand side. A half intercept there by Evan Parry, but the, he's given away more possession. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for Salaworth, you know, um, they were moving the ball, moving the ball really well there, were, were outward. Um, and, you know, there was there was gaps open in the defence, and they probably would have got through. Tried for the intercept, unfortunately missed it, and has just given them back possession, which is in the area of the field there, and not really what they want. Is that they're going to have to work hard defensively now to keep them out? Almost 18 minutes of the first half gone. 12-6 in favour of Saddleworth. But it's out with Grange in black who will go on the attack from this scrum. I built it up and they've got to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> we are the, is it the curse or the charm? That's, the, the, that's the curse of the commentator. Good work. They've created a bit of space. Oh, it's going to be a try at the corner. Great movement down that left-hand side. And Connor pick up scores. Do you know, I love tries like that. Just really simple hands. Um, taking the ball to the line, 
drawing the defender, passing it out wide. I was a little bit concerned there that it, if he was going to take it himself, you know, he's so close to the line. Sometimes you just think it might be safer just to dive over yourself, but he didn't. He, he drew that defender in. The defender had no other option but to go for him because he looked like he was running with intent. You know, he did turn his hips the other way to stick out to the winger. We'd have had a clear gap through, but he didn't. Drew him in, threw the ball out, clear run straight into that corner. Pretty unselfish play from uh, Phoenix to Arla as well because he, he could have wiggled the hips and gone inside, couldn't he? Yeah, I mean, what you need to do there is read the defender and the defender had turned his hips in, so he knew he was going to go for him, which meant that the, his outside winger was, was free to take that ball in. So it's, it's about... Um, you know, we can see uh, he gets the ball there, the defender has to make a decision, turns his hips in, he's got no other option there, he's not going to readjust and, and protect him there, so great option to pass it out, I think. It's a great response as far as Outward Grange are concerned, and we already know that this fella, Jordan, can kick. This is what you want from a final, isn't it? You know, a, Close, a try for try. Tight. You know. Tell you what, he's got chances. Oh, it is the post. Wow. I sometimes think if you hit the post, he deserves three points because you can't do that often. No, you can't do it if you try, <laughs> could you? But it's a little bit of uh, relief there for Saddleworth now. You know, they're, they're going to kick to, to Outward and Outward needs to use his ball and get it back up the field and get it back into good ball area and carry on doing more of that really simple play, you know, taking the ball to the line, drawing the defender and the hands are great and they've got the skill level to be able to do it, so let's see more of it now. Now, the last time that Saddleworth kicked to Outward Grange, they came up with an error, didn't they? So they're, they're going to have to complete this set, you feel? Yeah, you know, completion's major, isn't it? Um, if you don't complete, you're not going to get the points on the board. It's a high-hanging kick. Oof, nearly spilled. That was an unconventional catch, shall we say. It was a catch. We'll take the catch. Take <laughs> it's a play, you just take that catch. But yeah, uh, questionable, but um, safe. Sykes turns the ball inside. Good run. He's still rolling forward. Eventually controlled to the depth by three. Sykes again. Looks round. Abraham gets rid of it to one of his big forwards. Charging through. I think that's Ambler who plays it quickly. And again, they've set up a good position out wide. Great run there uh, by Josh Leeson. Fighting for his feet. Sykes slips it left. Kick comes in over the top. She's being chased after. Tuala's got hold of it. The tackle count has been wiped. Jordan did particularly well there to chip over the top and chase it through. That would are doing really well at, you know, um, getting position again, back in really good field position. So um, hopefully they're going to utilise this and get back over the, bot the score line. Well, they're just five metres away from the try line now. Sykes looking round. Looks like it's going left and does. Out to Abraham. Steps. Comes back right. Gets away from two defenders. Gets away from a third. He's got dancing feet. Yeah, he had a fortune there. He had his, um, his own prop in the way. Probably would have had a gap to get through, but his prop was in the way, so couldn't really do much with that. Chance here for Outward Range, but well covered. Maybe a little bit of an ambitious pass to the left, though. You see, I don't know. You know, We've seen some good passes go in. Um, he did have the other man in the, in the way. He could have just given it a simple hands. 1-2 but he went for the, the face ball and out to the, the wing but um, just didn't pay off this time but I do think they've got level of skill to be able to do that and it's great to see you know that's what you want to see from rugby league you know we have this this misconception that either the school's ages or the girls or the women's or whatever it is it's not a skill for all. you know the flair is there and the entertainment is there and they're not afraid to move this ball around so it's great to see well hopefully with uh, 22 minutes of the first half gone you're enjoying the coverage back home here on the Our League app Indeed, let's hope so, let's hope so. It's a, it's a great game to finish on as well, isn't it? This is what you want from a final, a nice close encounter. And, you know, we're, we're looking at Outwood are pushing, the, pushing on the field possession and an attack, but obviously Saddleworth have got the points. So, um, interesting to see where this might go. A close encounter of the rugby league kind. Saddleworth against Outwood Grange, 12 points to 10 in favour of Saddleworth. And we've got this scrum coming up with Saddleworth looking to take possession, just 10 metres away from their own line. Ball's in the middle. In fact, they've created a bit of space. I thought for a second that Josh Fitzgerald was going to get away. Here's Payne. Good tackle low down. Brings him to a complete standstill. And again, they use that blind side well. Joe Howe with the next carry. 
It's a real, oops, that's a real fumble. Uh, unlucky that was, I'm not sure if that was knocked out of his hands or not, but um, unfortunate to come up with that error. Again, we're giving, you know, outward this, this ball in, in, in good field position for them, which is unfortunate for Saddleworth because it means that they're just working harder in defence. Their defence is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not what you want to be doing, is it? Uh, and like we've seen already, they've got a couple of flair players, haven't they, yeah, of, um, of Outwood Grange. Yeah. Let's see if they can get on the ball now. Well, the initial run is taken in by Jordan. Sykes takes his position. He's fed down this left-hand side. There's Leeson. He's made some real telling carries, hasn't he, in the first 24 minutes of the game? Yeah, absolutely. I think all these boys have. You know, this is... I haven't had one outstanding player yet. We know we've had this a few times in the other two games where we've had two or three players that have really made their mark. But here, I think it's such a... You know, everyone's putting in their effort and putting in the, and everyone seems ready and raring to go for it. That latest effort was Jacob Hart. Now, rolling his way forward was James Ambler. Again, they're in decent field position, aren't they? Just 15 metres out from the line. It comes to the left-hand side. Jordan goes, then he feeds it out left. And it all came to a little bit of a standstill then with uh, Jacob Hart. Didn't seem to be expecting that ball. He didn't know what to do with it, but... Last tackle. Safe. That's what you want to see. Moving it through hands. Little kick over. Good defensive work. It's great defensive work. He almost gets away from the defence as well. Does parry. I know it's a case of controlling field position, isn't it? As far as uh, Outward Grange are concerned. Yeah, definitely. Here's Payne. Knew he was going to get an, an ounce of pain heading his way then, didn't he? Pain by name and nature. Yeah, these hits are fantastic, you know, from both sides. They're uh, not afraid to put their, their shoulders in and get the body in front of this ball. Cameron Huffer appealing for a penalty, which doesn't go his way. Instead, Whitehead feeds it down the right-hand side. Once again, just for a second or two, there was a mismatch between uh, Killen and the centre, Tuala. He's dragged him in as well, which means that the kick comes in. Oh, it wasn't the greatest. Or oh, shall we praise the positioning there of young Charlie Abraham? Did really well. He didn't really look at that kick, did he? He's got into hand, knew he had to kick it out. And if, I think he played a little bit safe with his boot there rather than um, pushing both his line and the defence as well. Could have probably put a bit more weight behind it and, and gained a bit more field possession. But hey, he's uh, playing it safe for now. This is certainly aiding out with Grange. Gaining a penalty. Tell you what, that's great defence in the middle of the field. Rogers and Howe leading the way there for Saddleworth. Josh Leeson again. You can really see them working the floor now and slowing this play the ball down, which is helping the defence get back in line. Yeah, they're getting set, aren't they? Which means that they're, they're ready for when the next wave of attack comes away. That's Ambler. He's flicked it out. Good support from Cork. Did well there, Cork, to get up to the 30 metre line. Now it's turned in field. Good run. Ambler once again to the edge of the 20 metre line. Sykes sends it right. Ball in two hands. Now it's with Abraham. Oh, and an obstruction. So a penalty will go the way of Saddleworth, who's still leading this one by 12 points to 10. And funnily enough not had as much possession as as that would have had so it just proves that when they've got the ball in hand and they have possession that they can do something with it that's a really ambitious kick towards the touchline but it just trickles along the touchline well fielded by Charlie Abraham who will launch the counter attack I think he was maybe a bit too ambitious by going for distance here well you know he wasn't too far off the touch there and um, I'd, I'd rather see that the ambitious kicks rather than the, the, safe, the, the safe ones you know and they don't have to work a bit harder in defence now but at least they're pushing down the field a bit. The little five metre dabs. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want those. Fair enough. Out of Grange in possession. Sykes in the dummy half again. Feeds it to his left hand side. Leeson with the latest carry. This is an intriguing game. Little kick over the top. It's a great kick as well. Turns Fitzgerald around. Steps past one defender. Does well. 
that second defender just following up by Jacob Hart. Saddlebutt just needs to try and get out of their half and get Rup. down this field and start playing the ball. Runs like that will help from Fenton Rogers, and he's earned that penalty, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Saddlebutt have as well. You know, they've been camped in this half for most of the game so far. They've got the, the score in their favour. Um, but we know what we can do. These forwards are, are great and they can really spot the gap and get through the line, putting pressure on their defence and making it really difficult to stop them. Into the closing stages of the first half here. Saddleworth still edging it by 12 points to 10 and they'll take possession from this penalty, which they'll tap just inside their own half. Oh, that looked a suspicious pass. And Ben Killen piles his way forward. He's still going. He's dragging one ladder across the floor. <laughs> get off me. <laughs> Down the left, it's moved. Little intricate move there. Here's Joe Howe. Joe Howe getting rid of a couple of defenders. It's done really well, but had the ball wrestled from his grasp. So unfortunate there. They just got hold of that ball. They'd be doubtful, and he was in an awkward position to try and keep it going. But, um, you know, well played to, to Outwood there. He's, he's really earned the, the right to have that, that ball. And, Let's see them work up the field with it. It was great play from Cork, that, wasn't it? Because he looked like he'd been beaten in the tackle a couple of times and then he just sort of hung around. He was I noticed there's a couple of wasps around. He was like an annoying wasp, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Um, managed to squirm his few metres down and just unfortunately to keep possession of the ball. Great run there by Hart on that right-hand side. Now it's switched back to the middle with Leeson. They clear the lines so well, don't they? The pace this game is great, you know, and defensively they're getting back and the line speed from the middles, they're really taking the line up. Ambler loses possession. And that's, that's your line speed from your middles, putting pressure on, putting a big hit on and causing the error. Uh, great to see and I think it's the first time this afternoon that we've seen some real intent in defence with the defensive line to, mm. to move forward. Referee stops the clock for a couple of seconds. We've already gone past the 30 minute mark according to our clocks, but it's that man in the middle who holds the key to our time, isn't it? Like we keep saying, he's the boss. We'll not agree, see what he says. Oh, lovely kick from Whitehead. Payne's after this one. Fitzgerald's after it as well. And Fitzgerald has won the race. He's touched down. That was a lovely bit of individual thinking, wasn't it? This is what I said earlier. Saddleworth have not had much possession, but when they do have possession, they're making really, really good ground with it. That kick was beautiful. There was absolutely nobody had dropped back for it. There was an absolute open space on the field, and it was a case of who had the quickest feet. And luckily for Saddleworth, he absolutely bombed it down and, and got the try. Yeah, at one point it looked like uh, Gabriel Payne was winning the race to that one, but the fullback burned him off. But let's just have another look from the base of the scrum. Wide pass. He's looked up, noticed that they're in the line, dabbed it over the top. That's brilliant. That's just great rugby knowledge, isn't it? We've, we've come straight off the back of a scrum. He's noticed that nobody's back. There's a wide open space and he's going for it and he's got the feet in his teammate to, uh, to cover it up and put the points down. Gives Remway another opportunity at goal points. Over on this right-hand side. Oh, he's just hooked it. Just the wrong side of the post. He's not happy with himself there at all, has he? But at least the, the points in their favour. I would have had most possession and, and should really the should the score be the other way around, do you think? Well, you could argue that way, certainly. I mean, as you mentioned, Saddleworth have been doing an awful lot more defensive work and bringing the ball away from their own end. But it, you could also say, brilliant counter-attack. Yeah, unbelievable. Say, yeah. And that is all that we've got time for in the first half. Our first half that has seen Saddleworth score three tries through Fenton Rogers, Tony Whitehead and Josh Fitzgerald. Jack Renway has kicked two goals and in response, Outward Grange, they've never been far away. As Danica said, they've dominated large swathes of this first half. They've got two tries themselves through Charlie Abram and Connor Pickup. One goal from the boot of Caleb Jordan. It's 16 10 at half time and all to play for. Play for it. It's not the way this game should be going. As much as I love it, the fact that Saddleworth have had less possession but have got the points. Um, I'm expecting a big second half from Outwood, and it's not written off as it. It's um, like I say, all to play for. Will be an exciting second half to come. He tees it up nicely here at the LD Nutrition Stadium. We're going to take a break, but do join us for second half action.
Welcome back to second half coverage of this Champion Schools Year 11 final. And what a final we are bringing you. It's Outward Grange 10, Saddleworth School 16. And I suppose, Danica, this has been one of those where they've just got the points on the, almost on the rebound, I suppose, haven't they, Saddleworth? Yeah, absolutely, from the, the possession that they haven't had, should I say, rather than have had, you know, it's, you know, the percentage possession will definitely go in the favour of Outwood, but Saddleworth have just capitalised off what they have had, and, you know, there's been a few spells where they've not completed sets, but on the sets they have completed, they've completed with, with points on the board, so shows what they're very capable of when they've got the ball in hand. Renway gets us underway, half an hour of action in front of us, and dare I say it, maybe even extra time. Ooh, would be interesting, wouldn't it? It would be, wouldn't it? As in the first half, I'm Dave Parkinson, joined alongside Danica Prim, and uh, it's 16-10. Outward Grange in possession. Sykes moves into dummy half. Got options to the left. That's where the ball goes. And that's a massive drive. Ambler. Nothing ambling about that. He's up to halfway. He's, he's had some really great drives and got some really good metres under his belt today. And then... Very evasive running on that far side by Leeson. He's run really well. To be fair, I think, you know, a lot of these forward units, you know, of all three games we've seen today, the forwards have been putting in some really big spells and it's great to see, as a forward myself, that's what, you know, you want. And that's what you want as well. What a way to open the second half for Outward Grange. James Ambler tearing through the middle of the defence, touching down right at the side of the post. 16-14, kick to come. He's really deserved that try, hasn't he? He was quite instrumental in the first half, making a good few meets in the first half. Defensively, you know, he's been cutting down um, Saddleworth and, and stopping them, causing a few mis mistakes and errors. And then to finally that great break, you know, as much as I'm a prop, prop, should prop to making that kind of yard, you know, should they be making a break like that? Who cares? He's a, done it, he's broken through. It was going to quit play the ball, wasn't it? And then lovely sleight of hand. And then James Ambler going through. And slid across the line. An emphatic finish. I like that. Jordan looking for goal number two of his evening. Steps in right footage. Flags are raised. 16 all. What a second half, eh? 16 all. And uh, just to start with the second half, we've got it all to play for now. It promises a magical second half now, doesn't it? With that opening try just after a couple of minutes. I think, you know, if, if that were to, were to bounce back and get another one, I think that kind of uh, start to seal it, you know. We'll see them rolling on now. So Saddleworth really need to get these points under the board. Get a good kick now, good kick chase. Let's, let's keep Outwood in their half and try and force an error to get possession back again. As a self-confessed rugby league nerd, I love a close game. <laughs> Depends who you're supporting, really, doesn't it? As neutrals now, it's great to watch. This is true. Here's Leeson. Look at that for a run. 25 metres gained straight from the restart. Sykes, options to his right. Big charge coming in from that uh, last try scorer, Ambler. Pretty quick play of the ball as well. Short running from Cork. They really have started the second half at a rate of knots, haven't they, yeah, Outward really Grange? Firing up. The, the, whatever's been said to them in the sheds was is, is working working really well and paying dividends because Outward are being relentless at the minute. Jordan plays it. Sykes feeds it to his right-hand side. Calls beneath us for a forward pass. I doubt it was, to be honest. This is just fine play from Outward Grange. Step in run. Keeping the ball alive is great. Here's Leeson. Shows a bit of maturity there, I think, because he, he, you can move it too quickly and too fast, can't you? Yeah, you've got to pick and choose when the right time to do it is, and they've, they've really high been able kick. To do that. And to be honest, there, uh, Callum Thurston got a bit excited, didn't he? Tackled the man who was off the ground. There's Penalty a, there's every a fine day. line, isn't there, between um, that that go forward and know when to stop versus the passion and the drive just to to shut the ball down. This one's coming our way. That was so close. Hold a court, don't you worry. Safe hands here. I was nearly talking like a Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> Tap taken. 
Wrong mark, according to the referee. He's actually took 10 metres off himself there, hasn't he? <laughs> Might as well try, aren't you? There goes Ben Killen. Another good run from the big saddle with number eight. Ryan Law then at dummy half, turns it to his right-hand side. Here's Fenton Rogers. Saddle with that the best when he's involved in the game. Yeah, for sure. He's a, he's a real strong runner in down that middle. Here's Joe Howe. Up to the 30 metre mark. To the right it's moved. Rogers again. Moves it through hands. Oh, an enticing little intercept. He just had to snake the hands out there, didn't he? I mean, you know, lucky for Saddleworth he did that because I think that would have been a straight run down the pitch and uh, over the line. And we've already seen it, but Caleb Jordan, he can shift, can't he? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, you know, this, this interception, it's it's fine line between, isn't there? Interception and catching it and just trying to stop the play. You know, you um, knock it down and, and you give away possession, but it's, is that better than giving them possession and letting them keep the, the run of the ball going? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next six tackles, won't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's Saddleworth on the charge again. 22 metres out from the line. They won't get anywhere with scrappy passes like that, but Rogers gets them out of a bit of a danger there. And that's some good wrestling there from Tommy Cork. Ball fed right. Whitehead finds the running of Killen. Killen is 12 metres out from the try line. Brushes away from Leeson. Eventually plays it. And here's Rogers. Loses the ball. Good contact in defence. Yeah, I think the contact from both sides has been really fantastic. You know, the line speed and therefore shutting them down on the on the most part has been great. And we're seeing these big tackles. We're working the floor. We're getting them on the backs. We're slowing the play of the ball down. Everything that you want defensively in order for your team to get back and, and get organised. It's great to see. Now, this has gone in favour of Saddleworth, so it must have been ripped out one-on-one. -on -one. Interesting. We'll just have to nod and agree to that, won't we? Give, gives them a, a real chance, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Ten right. metres out from the line. Getting it amongst the back line. There's Payne. Stepping back inside towards the posts. It seems that they always have a runner out back, but they're choosing not to use it. And in that instance, it probably would have been the best option. Whitehead taking command. Dummy in. And again, there was that man drifting around the back, wasn't there? Yeah. Intricate little move. Pushing for the try line. And he's carried over the line as well. That's good defence because they'll have to start from the 10 metre line again. Sometimes it's preferable to start out wider, you know, and then you can start playing the ball and moving it around a bit. Like they've just done. Oh, and then they put the ball down. Wow. Golden chance down that right hand side. Yeah, unfortunate, but that there's a pressure there from from outwards defence, you know. And like I said, the line speed at the minute is, is really good and it's making them kind of force the decision or force the error as it is now and that's what you want to see in these games that area of the field you need to kind of shoot up there's a fine line between shooting up putting pressure and making sure you move as a line and not open any gaps for them I'm really impressed with the standard of both these teams yeah, yeah. by far this is a, a great farm to watch and a great score so far um, with what's left on the field but um, it's just about now getting f for outward getting out of this half mm. you know when they've got the ball in hand, they're great. They've got some fantastic runners up the middle. You know, some, some big units, but they can really move and shift, aren't they? And let's hope that he's going to be OK to continue. I think this is the uh, the 7 Thurston out wide. Just receiving a bit of attention there. So, Saddleworth will go on the attack again. Oh, no, in fact, it's the other way around, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. I got, got excited. Outward. Got excited. Outward, <laughs> outward. Outward coming out. <laughs> Shut up, David. Right. <laughs> I've got you, I've got you. Don't you worry. OK, put my head back on. <laughs> There's Leeson. <laughs> He'll play it to Sykes. Big run through the middle. That's a massive drive again. Some great work. He's still not going down. These Saddleworth need to be careful. They like, like this chopping up the leg. They've got away with it because, uh, unfortunately for Ambler, he just fumbled on the floor. Difficult sometimes. It's a fine line, isn't it, that? Yeah. And you've been, you know, you've had a big hit there. You're on the floor. You've got bodies on top of you to try and fight to get up as much as you can to play the ball. You know, we, unless you've got a good, good connection with that ball, it's, it's going to be fumbled. You see it quite a bit 
you know, trying to get this quick play of the ball from the forwards. So I've got it right now. Saddleworth are in possession. They have indeed. Here's Fitzgerald, gets it further wide. <laughs> 40 metres out from the line. Penalty going Saddleworth's way. A little bit of messing around. A little bit of goading from Saddleworth is out there as well, you know. You've got to build some confidence from this and... McManus has missed touch entirely. Abraham confident take. We know he's a good footballer, this lad. Feeds it left. Oh, they've opened it up. He's playing with them there, is Caleb. Gets the ball back on the inside. I tell you what. Outwards really have the wits about them this evening. Yeah, it's great to see this, this ball is moving really quickly. That's a popular decision. You, you think? I think so, I think so. You think by any chance we're uh, stood above a lot of outward supporters? <laughs> Kick to touch from Jordan. Let's see what they can come up with in this set. 16 all. Almost 10 minutes of the second half gone. Action here on the Our League app. That's a strong surge. Good carry. Good defence as well. They're well recovered by Howe. Yeah, they're pushing, pushing back defensively, but still not found the floor. So he's got a quick play of the ball. Scramble defence. The markers weren't quite in place there, and they've managed to find that gap and just make some more metres. Yeah, Hart made another 10 metres down the field. Jordan. Lovely line. What a line that was. Very impressive defence as well there, you know. This is a this defence is fantastic from both sides. It's great to see. Leeson goes right over the top of one. Up to the 10 metre line. Sykes turns it right. Jordan puts it through hands. Abraham steps. Wiry character. Five metres out from the try line. Sykes picks it up. Goes right. Oh, it's another try from the big man. James Ambler crashes his way through. And I think he gave an override call then, didn't he? Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Go on the pro. You know, we've got a, a big a big lad there, powerful runner, from a crash ball short distance. There's very little chance of stopping him, isn't there? All he needs to do is just keep his legs driving, reach out and uh, flop off that line, so to speak. Bro, I love the fact that he just drifted out wide and called for the ball. Props that think, that think the backs are the best type. I can tell you're appreciating the music now, Danica. <laughs> Who doesn't love I've it? already had mine played. <laughs> they must be taking requests. No, I don't like this red gantry though. You've danced around too much and it bounces. <laughs> Are we sure this is safe? <laughs> it's safe. Thanks. I've been up here a couple of times. We've been up here all afternoon, we're still up here, aren't we? This so is true. Can't complain. And after this, you'll have a head for heights, won't you? No. You'll have no problem with going on any gantry anywhere. No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the, my limit for now, I think. Okay. So instead of, you know, okay. incremental steps. At risk of sounding like Steve or Terra Firma next week. <laughs> Caelan Jordan with this kick at goal. The ground's fallen silent. Oh, he's a great kicker, he's that lad. Third goal, and the other one hit the post. <laughs> 22 points to 16 in favour of Outwood Grange. Well, I question whether them having a shorter squad would have any impact, and it's not showing at this stage. No, they're, they're, they're fit, athletic young, young lads and it's good to see. Maybe it's because it's only half an hour each way. Who, who knows? If anything, it's showing that there's more togetherness with them. Yeah, there could be that as well, yeah. Yeah, when Terry played, there was four tackles as well. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's day was the heyday, I've heard. Yeah, oh, oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I know I'm one of these newfound rugby league dinosaurs. Ball goes loose for it with Grange. Attacking chance here, Mason Young was able to pick up, but we'll go down for a scrum. 40 metres out from the line. James Ambler was asking the referee just how he'd come to that decision. Referee's explained himself, and we play on. Yeah. 
the referee has a last say, end of story, whether you agree or not. Exactly. Deal with it. You can see here Saddleworth's coach is asking to play to the 50s, get in the middle position and then reset from there and play out against. So let's see if they've listened to him. So when they say this, what do you mean? Do you then play the numbers? Do you look at where so the numbers are there? Playing at 50s is playing to the middle of the pitch so that they can set up either side and, and play off that. And, you know, playing up the middle means that you're, you're forwards and defensively have to regroup and, and get into position, which leaves your edges out. But we've had a bit of a back chat there, so I think that... Um, yeah, it's crept in the last couple of decisions the referee's made, hasn't it? Yeah, they, sure. they need to take him out of the equation because, you know, the referee's always right. Yeah, it's just a frustration of playing a big game like this, isn't it? Like I keep saying, it's a huge occasion for these lads and something that they get passionate about and sometimes passion comes out in wrong ways. Rogers is 12 metres away from the try line. Real chance here for Saddleworth. Taking it back through the middle. Chance here for Fitzgerald. He flicks it out. They've men in it open there. Renshaw brings it back to reset the position. Maybe the sensible option. We'll find out. Whitehead feeds it back to Rogers, gets the ball back, does Whitehead, goes through hands. Here's another one of the big men, Ben Killen. And we've got a stoppage, there's a outward Grange player who's down in the in goal area. I think it's the hooker, Tyler Sykes. Bit of cramp creeping in. Yeah, they've been playing some, some long minutes, these lads, you know, fast paced, long minutes. Um, end of a school, a school day as well you, you know you forget that that these year 11 lads have been at school all day and they've come here tonight they're, they're playing a fast paced game good conditions great pitch great crowd uh, fatigue's bound to set in we're going to get back underway any second now ball fed left Whitehead through hands oh they've worked a little something that's brilliant defence though excellent defence from Thurston and the errors come up as well Unlucky that for Saddleworth, so really unlucky indeed. A great area of the field to be in and just, you know, that, but the defensive from, the defence from Fairwood has been fantastic, hasn't they? They've, they've really kept him in that, that last 10 metres and keep pushing them back. That's one of, one of those rare occasions as well where two number sevens meet in yes. defence and attack. I like seeing little equations like that because you, you see it so often in the middle of the park, but yeah, yeah, yeah. not so often with halfbacks, do you? No, 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 they, they move around so much, don't they? Defensively, they... They change position as well, so yeah, very rare for it to happen out. Outward Grange dicing with danger with that type of pass, ten metres from their own line, but hey. Kept it and got still got possession. Exactly. Down the ground they come. Here's Leeson. He's been very good this evening. Thirty metres away from his own line. Sykes now has it. Attacks Rogers, flicks the ball back. Leeson is there, almost stumbles as he tries to burst into an opening. Wasn't quite expecting it, was it? But he uh, managed to keep it contained. Here's the two try hero so far, James Ambler. Getting forward again. He's a real handful. Difficult lad to stop, isn't he? He's really mm. drawing that defence in to, to stop him down dead. Got some nice feet as well. Here's Leeson. Put down 40 metres away from the try line. Last tackle signalled here. Who's this going to? Goes to the six. Jordan. Well, that's well fielded by Evan Parry. He shuffles back into the midfield. Takes on Jordan. And eventually falls to the challenge there of Hart. Plenty of Hart being shown in this game as well. Fitzgerald veers off down the right-hand side. Controlled to the deck by three. He's pinched about five metres there. <laughs> yeah. He's done well there. Forward there. <laughs> Ref doesn't seem to have picked it up. Payne gets forward to the 40 metre line. Still inside their own half. Whitehead has options. Decides to roll it forward himself. Quick play the ball. Down the left to Rogers. He flicks the ball out. And they keep it moving. Here's Fitzgerald. Very elusive. Flicks the ball to the right. Good defence there. Great defence on Renway. But the ball comes out. And I tell you what, they made something of it. The ball goes to ground, though. He can't believe it, can Tom Whitehead. Already scored one try tonight. He thinks he should have been a second. But we've got a great counter coming up now through the middle of the field. Charlie Abraham. Back! 
and again just the, the real want and will to get to his feet to get Edward Grinch forward yeah you know what, what a great phase of play that was you know fast paced it was it was erratic it was frantic but yet so composed at the same time and that's what the great thing about this this level of rugby is is that these lads are so passionate and, and so desperate to, to get this ball going forward that they're just reacting to anything and, and doing so um, really well and that was that was great from from outward and unfortunate that they um, got that got the, the ball ripped then but they get the game possession down the field so let's see what they can do with it it's the impressive Leeson seems to leave a player on the floor every single time he runs in really strong one isn't he he's been really instrumental in the go forward from outward good surge from camping to the 10 metre mark Does the big lad fancy a hard trick? He's getting closer. He's got ever so close. It's a penalty. The ball's been ripped. James Ambler had the ball ripped from his grasp, but I think that's the only thing that stopped him from grabbing a hat trick, though. I tell you something, this lad's, um, you know, it, it, he's a middle, he's a big unit, and he's putting some really good minutes. I don't think he's been off the field yet, has he? So they're just settling it down, going for the two points. This to open up an eight point advantage, which are, at this stage of the match could be crucial with what 10 11 minutes remaining. I think that's a really safe decision from Outwood. You know, we've seen defensively from both sides that, they, that they're hard to crack, and the tries have come from just a, a, a real small blip in the defensive line. So taking the two is playing it safe, getting the extra points, opening the gap ever so slightly, making it a little bit more difficult for Salawath to bring it back. Caelan Jordan tags on those extras. It lands in someone's back garden. Someone will better go round and knock on the door. <laughs> it won't be me or you though, will it? No. 24 points to 16 in favour of Outwood Grange. And I feel this scoreline is more reflective of the way that Outwood Grange played because they ultimately had the better of the first half, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. They've had more possession. Um, and defensively, I think they've worked just that touch harder. Their defence up in there in their own half was fantastic when Saddleworth was pushing to get over the line. Jack Renway gets us underway. It's a short restart, a contested one. And it's come up for Saddleworth. Quick feet from Mason Young. He skips across two. Still going. They eventually wrestled to the turf 30 metres away from the try line. Right in centre field. Huff goes to his left hand side. Whitehead plays it off to Killen. Killen, 30, 22 metres out from the line. Huff picks up. Dummies, then goes left. Again, that's a good defensive play there on Howe. Huff to his right. Whitehead to Killen. Forward pass. Well, it was real promising position. Is there a case here of overplaying slightly? I don't know. It came out to this left edge and we, they've kept, they took the ball in and, and when they should have maybe passed and now they're passing when maybe they should be taking the ball in and setting them on of 50s. You know, by 50s we mean getting in the middle of this post, in the middle of the pitch, you know, uh, getting to play the ball so that both sides are set up to go either way, which kind of makes your defence think about which way you're going to go and decision making on that part therefore sometimes leads to errors. Let's see whether Outward Grange will be able to navigate this set of six without coming up with an error. Five metres out from their own line. They've been pretty good, to be honest, coming away from their own end. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're playing a real simple game of just giving the ball to their strong runners. And look at that. That's a super run from Leeson again. Yeah, he's been outstanding. And again, that's what they're doing. They've given the ball to their big players and just getting that metre, chucking it down the field. And again, the uh, big guys follow up. Sykes moves it right. And here's Ambler. Taking that pass of Jordans. And getting over the halfway. He's been excellent this evening. Sykes moves it right. Jordan. Out to Abraham. Abraham over the top. Well taken. Good defence. So lucky to keep possession of that ball then, wasn't he? Mason Young tackling Niall Gorn. Ball goes to the air. Has he got there? Fitzgerald does well. Launches the counter-attack. Gets between defenders. We know he's got a bit of pace. Tries to escape the clutches of Tuala. Tries to get dragged into touch, but manages to stay in just, I think. And now it's being ran in by Jack Nags. Over the 40-metre line. Huff 
finds Rogers. Good run from Rogers. He's a thinking man's loose forward. Ball out. All the way out to the left. Evan Parry. Just about wrestled to the ground. 30 metres away from the try line. Whitehead takes control again. Dummies. Surges on. Inside the 20 he goes. 20 metres in from the touch line. They've got a good line up out to the right hand side. And it'll be moved through hands. Another nice run coming in there by Joe Howe. He's flicked the ball out as well to Renway. And they're still keeping it alive. There's Fitzgerald. He's kept the ball alive to Renway. Renway runs back towards the posts. He's going to be stopped just short of that try line. Chance here for Rogers. He puts it on the toe. I'm not sure whether that was the right play, if I'm being honest. It was it, but they've been up there and scrambling around and being a bit frantic, so I think it was just a case of doing what he could see. Well done to Outwood for manning the barricades again. Again, you know, that defence, their, their goal line D has just been outstanding tonight, and I'm, 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 you know, I'm glad to see it again. You know, they're just so unbreakable at the minute. Here's Abraham. He's been keen and eager for work from fullback, hasn't he? He's taken more than his first year of carries. Like we've said all this game, you know, there's have been a couple of players that have done a few good ones and stuff, but I think generally, particularly from Outwood, that you know, the whole team are playing for each other, aren't they? And they're not afraid to take that ball up. Just like Leeson was there. Long kick comes in from Caleb Jordan. It bounces in behind Fitzgerald, who's forced to retreat to his own 20 to collect. He's got a whole acre of space to run into, though. Now the defence arrives. It's going nowhere, Fitzgerald, on that occasion. Good work from Kamara. And there's an error that comes in from Saddleworth. Do you know what? And this goes back to the sportsmanship. It's great there to see, you know, Outward just giving a pat on the back. And, you know, they've essentially just won possession, but they're commiserating the, the Saddleworth player. And oh, it's just, you know, I'm really, as a teacher, as a, as a coach, as a, you know, I love seeing that on the on the pitch. It's mutual respect, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely is, and that's a it's a great spirit of the game. And just this made my day. That has, <laughs> you know, you find at this age that sometimes it's a bit of uh, jeering and and winding them up. But no, nah, that was good. Good lads, good lads. I like it. That's a great run down that left hand side, Jacob Hart. The rolling forward again, camping. Camping still going, Camping still going for the line. He's got the, what a super try from Camping. There was no way anybody was going to stop him, but he just showed superhuman strength, didn't he? Yeah, I think that's really sealed the deal there for, for Outwood. But I think, obviously in attack, that's when we score the points. But Outwood's game today has been their defence. And I think with ball in hand, they're making the yards and, they, and they're getting the ball over the line. But that really comes from such a strong defensive display that they've put on today. And let's just look at this again. It was a short run, first of all. Takes on one, shrugs him off. Takes on two, takes on three. A fourth man joins the fray. Then they're not going to stop him. No, nah, not at all. Not at all. But like I say, points come from possession. But that comes from the back of a hard defensive display that they've, they've put on today. Good bit of footwork, actually. I tell you, these these forwards today are impressive, aren't they? Mm. Agile, dynamic, powerful. I wish I, I I wish I could have moved that way when I was 16. I was about to say I wish I was describing myself, but... <laughs> Not. So the extras added on by Caleb Jordan. His fifth goal of the afternoon. 30 points to Outward Grange, 16 to Saddleworth High School. <laughs> and with about, what, three or four minutes remaining, they're saying it's looking like it's Outwards to lose. I don't think it's a dare, I think it's a pretty much definite, you know. That's actually time keeper. So, um, Shall we think of a player of the match? There's been lots and lots of guys out there that have uh, done more than their first year. I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to look at you know the the eight or the ten from out outward. I think they've been outstanding as as prop forwards. But I think like you know points on the board, meters gained. I think Ambler is going to be the one for me. So James Ambler, the number eight 
of Outwood Grange. He's certainly the Owl League man of the match. That's a nice bit of thinking, that, from Saddleworth, finding the touchline, but they know that they need points, they need them quickly. <laughs> Referee just double-checking with his touch, just to make sure he gets the, the right call. There's nothing wrong with that. No, nope. got to make the call and go for it. But yeah, James Ambler, number eight. I've heard all the, the cool kids wear number eight these days. Well, you know, on the grapevine anyway. All right, that's OK. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So Saddleworth take possession from the base of the scrum. Goes down the right-hand side. Jack Burtley has possession. He plays it. Flicked out the back. Burtley will go again. Burtley eventually controlled. Pushed back behind the 30. He's still going in that defence. Brilliant. Our man of the match, James Ambler. We've seen that defence again from, from Artwood, aren't we? You know, it's relentless. They're, uh, they're getting up, their line speed is fantastic. They're putting numbers into the tackle. They're driving Saddleworth back and Saddleworth just cannot cope with it. So, like I say, you know, possession, you know, makes points, but that just comes from their, their defensive display and I think it's been outstanding today. Oh, they, they, they built it, haven't they? They built it off the back of that. They've attacked with the defence. Yeah, you know, and, and they've forced the errors and they've capitalised off that, so... You know, it's not often they say their defence wins wins games because it, it doesn't at all, but they've done a lot of defence and, you know, we saw Saddleworth in the, in the first half. They didn't have much possession, but they got the points when they did have possession and now we're seeing a similar kind of display from Outwood. Wow, look at that for a power pack run. The number 12, Jacob Hart, getting over halfway. Once again, they're through the middle. Big tackle being put in there and a big shift by Fenton Rogers. And there's Leeson. He's been very good as well, hasn't he? Leeson yeah, in the middle. Fantastic. He would have been a close second in my match, I think. Um, had it not been for Ambler, this number eight. Here he, he goes again. again. Great shift. He's, you know, as a prop, he's put in the, the, the whole match, you know, and he's put in a good few minutes under his belt, which is not often what you see. And he's uh, only 20 he's, metres away. I know, and he's just relentless, isn't he? He doesn't seem like he's tiring. Draw goal attempt. Never really got above the ground, but it has been touched according to the match official. It's a drop out from under the post. They probably got more out of that than the kick deserved, I think. Yeah, though. absolutely. And I think we'll see the game played off, you know. Take the time here, play safe, protect this ball, and just play the game out now. So Salworth goes short with the restart. Has he gone the 10? It has. I, I was de that was debatable, I think, where the bounce was. Salworth have won the penalty. Brad Ward, it was who was in possession. They're wanting to speed things up. It's kicked towards us again. We've been saved by a loudspeaker on this occasion. Narrowly missed. <laughs> I tell you, I'll, I've got you back. I'll catch this for you. Tight. Taken in by Rogers. All the 40 metres from their own line here, Saddleworth. Time ticking down. Trailing by 30 points to 16. There's Ben Killen, who's also put a shift in for Saddleworth. Off the dummy half. It's real scrappy play the ball, and he's won a penalty. He's tapped. Forward comes Whitehead. Dancing around, looking for support. His pass was a little bit low and really well fetched in the end by Renway. But then he's lost possession. I've Just come up with the error there, unfortunate for Saddleworth. I think the game's got the better of them now, haven't they? And they've... Um they know it, there's no coming back from it now so they just need to play it safe and just count that ball up the pitch uh, Danica that was an example of the commentator's curse because I was saying again, yeah. yeah it was yeah I'll, I'll put my hand up and accept that one on the chin I don't know I don't <laughs> not sure I'll be commentating with you again <laughs> that's the case well it depends on which game and where, which way I want it to go so I guess oh right okay <laughs> strategic, <laughs> strategic commentary and they know they're in the last few seconds of the game Outward Grange they're just going to kick to touch the Hooter sounds and Outward Grange of Wakefield have won the Champion Schools Year 11 boys final we've seen a, a great final uh, they've scored tries this evening from Charlie Abraham Connor Pickup two from our man of the match James Ambler 
and one from Luke Camping. Five goals from the boot of Caelan Jordan, who I think really controlled it. He's a real clever player, is Jordan. Yeah, really fantastic. I think, you know, all of the players from Outwood, you know, every single, like I've said this before earlier on in the game, I think every single one of them had a real strong part to play in that game. We had the, the middles really running the metres down, but the control from the halves, you know, the finishes from the edges, every single one of them was fantastic. Uh, tries came, as far as Saddle with School were concerned, through Josh Fitzgerald, Tom Whitehead, and it seems an awful long time since Fenton Rogers opened that score in account. Two. Know, what we, did, we thought the game was going to go either way, didn't we? We didn't know. We thought Saddleworth kind of had uh, the kind of the better possession and were moving the ball forward, but they've come out in the second half about well, whatever we've got taught, said in the sheds has uh, paid dividends because they've come out fighting and they've, they've got the result. There was two goals as well from Jack Renway, and once more we prepare for our match officials and everybody else to um, receive the tokens and of this game and the trophy of course and the trophy yes that's a bit everybody wants isn't it but it's been played in great spirit throughout as have our other two games that we've covered this afternoon it's been a really great display of, of rugby league you know the college's final uh, with the first game this afternoon we saw the athleticism of some of the bigger players that can be building up towards academies um, you know and some stars in the future I'd say we saw the girls game which obviously been a big advocate of the women and girls game that was great to see getting the same platform of, as, uh, as the, the lads get um, you know a great crowd and a great show of, of girls rugby and again and for that one and again for that one I think that we saw some real stars of the future who were in that Castleford side and also the Astley side yeah absolutely you know the minute with the women's game it's such a small pool uh, the talent pool is quite small so any kind of talent you do see you want to take and grow and, and develop and hopefully you know with, with more of these schools finals going forward this talent pool is going to open up more girls will start playing we'll get more regions and areas developing the girls game you know in three to five years to come you know this whole 21,000 women and girls playing by 2021 it can be really achievable I can't wait to see what's going to happen um, but then finally you know finishing off the, the day with this this year 11 final fast paced talented could have gone either way we saw some great sets of possession but you know I keep banging on about it I think the defence from both sides at times was just phenomenal and to, to keep digging away and, and keep the, the moments there where I would add you know three minutes or so of constant defence and they didn't crack they just kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and uh, it's paid off hasn't it for them I enjoyed the performance of our match officials as well thought they controlled things really really well yeah that like we keep saying difficult job somebody's got to do it and they did it really well and here's the man of the match James Ambler taking his award posing for the pictures it's one for the scrapbook yeah cracking cracking performance from that lad and to have played that whole game I know as a prop you know to put in a shift like that even if it's only 60 minutes a 60 minute game for a prop running as many metres as he did uh, it was a great effort and uh, hopefully he can go on and, and develop his rugby league career I think after 60 minutes of rugby league I'd need an iron lung <laughs> 20 minutes I tell you <laughs> It wasn't a slow game either, was it? No, it wasn't. It was played in great spirit, played with great pace throughout. And there is Saddleworth collecting losers' medals. They played their full part, no more so than him, Payne. And how? And then a, a special word as well for Ben Killen. He was another man that put in a big shift. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think for these year 11 boys, there weren't that many interchanges really weren't that we saw um, and everyone's put in a good few few minutes underneath their belt and it, it's really difficult because I think for year 11 boys as well you know this is the end of their school rugby league career uh, it's a real bittersweet to end it isn't it and nobody wants to come off the pitch nobody wants to, to interchange nobody wants to stop or lose but you know year 11 they're going on to bigger and better things now and they finish their career together as, as a team and as a set of lads and it's lovely to see Outward Grange now receiving the winners medals the Sykes controls things a lot from dummy half some great work as well from that fella the number 12 Hart and Tuala as well elusive at times Jordan the goal kicker and finally that man that we spoke a lot about in this game James Ambler 
takes the trophy, poses for the pictures. It's another one for the scrapbook. And now the celebrations can commence for Outward Grange of Wakefield. They are your champions this evening in the Champion Schools Year 11 Boys Final. Look at them celebrations, those lads are in for a good night. Yeah, they are indeed. I will say good night, uh, an early night, back to school tomorrow, eh? Well, that's true, <laughs> that's true. Well, maybe out until about half eight, nine o'clock. I think maybe just get a shower and go with the friends. <laughs> forget that these are 16-year-old boys. This is true, and this it's is true. Wednesday night. <laughs> uh, Danica, it's been brilliant having you alongside me. Thank you very much for all your efforts this no, afternoon. thank you, thank you very much. It's been a great afternoon uh, and a great display of rugby league. Keep tuning into the Our League app because on Saturday, we have 1895 Cup action for you between Hunslet and Workington Town and we've also got the small matter of the Coral Challenge Cup round one for the women's game on Sunday. Yeah we do, we've got Featherstone Lions uh, versus Stanley, which will be uh, quite the contest, they've come up against each other in the league a few times it's gone both ways so uh, as far as round one Challenge Cup goes this is what you want to see and then um, Shortly after that we'll have the round two draw where we'll see the Super League teams come into it. Uh, really interested to see what's going to happen and, and who's going to be pitted against who for round two as well. So an exciting weekend of Rugby League I guess. Very much so. I'm Dave Parkinson. This has been our league. Our thanks go to Terry as well for all his uh, hard work on the technical side. I can see him clicking buttons as we speak. Uh, but that's us done and dusted from the LD Nutrition Stadium. And we hope that you've enjoyed it and we'll tune in once again.